Welcome back everyone to the Town Hall 15 where we're in Night Suzanne and we're in our final day of CWL, Night Suzanne versus Vipers. We're currently in fourth position and which we will probably stay in this um in this month as well. So we'll probably be there next month to be in um Masters League one. So we had a pretty pretty not a terrible city but not the best city about. We did have a couple wars that we did lose, like you know, I believe number third and sixth war that we um didn't do bad we just had like a couple missed attacks and one stars and stuff so we that's why we're staying in this position but it's totally fine that happens at top 15 a top 15 definitely a tough um tough cherry to bite for sure but this is the base that we'll be hitting and the army that i have chosen for this base is going to be queen charge hybrid but we're doing it a little different with spin you actually use a blimp to blimp all the top all this time but my plan of action for the space is I will be blimping out the town hall and while I run my queen charge over on this side. So I'm going to run the queen charge in first. I'm going to use some sneaky goblins in behind just to like funnel and stuff on, on this side. Because I want my queen to click this air defense and run up because I want to push her into this compartment right here. Then I will be using my king probably on this side or, or even up here so I can run my hybrid down. That's the plan. That's the plan. But I'll be running the blimp in with the queen while the queen is actually queen charging out the town hall. I will then run her wherever side. If she decides to go up this side, I can pull the CC, take care of it. If she comes down, if she decides to go this side, which I hope she doesn't, then we will do it on the other side. So the, well, the king will go probably on here. Hybrid will run up through the eagle and we will use our spells together. But I basically just want to clip the town hall my, with my blimp. Take out the blimp. I'll use a rage as well just to take it out. And then I'm going to be using my queen to run this side. Funnel her. So I'll probably use the sneaky goblin here and a baby dragon or a baby dragon to funnel this out. And then I will be running in the... I basically want to get the queen into this compartment. So she push down the CC. And then I'll probably run the king here and run the hybrid through here while the queen is distracting a lot of the point defense. So it's going to be a lot of damage that she's going to be in because of these rage towers. Never fun, never fun to send heroes into a rage tower because the rage tower does so much damage, uh, especially if it's going to grow more and a scatter. So, I'm going to try to see if I can push through with the warden's ability through here um, as quick as possible. But I basically want to, if I can get the queen here, the king will go up here, hybrid will come through here. So, I'm basically, it's going to ease some pressure off the queen. That's my thought process, but let's see if it can go to plan. But as um, you guys see the base, you see the army, like we always want to do. Let's crush it. So we're going to invest in rage. So we're going to have two rages for our queen. So we definitely have to use them. I would say a little sparingly. If that is the best words to use. So queen down. I'm going to let the queen do her thing first. Not going to try to rush it as well. I'm going to drop the baby dragon over here. So the baby dragon can set its funnel. I'm going to drop in my healers. Queen definitely is not pushing where I want her to be. But it's going to have to be okay. Hopefully it can get her into where I want her to be. But she decided to go in, which is interesting. She's in the middle of the base. I probably wasted a red spell now. Thinking that I probably wasted a red spell, but it's okay. CC still pulls. CC pulls, which is great. CC pulls. Uh, I'm going to poison there. Oh, well, I definitely didn't. Were there headhunters in there that I didn't see? There probably were headhunters that I didn't see. Um, CC's down though, which is, which is great. CC's down. I drop a wall break over there. Wall break didn't go. There we go. Wall break is, okay, the queen is coming back. <laughs> my queen was smart, guys. My queen was smart. I wasn't expecting my queen to actually come back. I'm going to part the king's ability because I know the king is going to be in a little bit of a painful, um, venture because I had to use his ability a little earlier than you would want to use his ability. Um, because he was stuck on skeletons, I'm gonna drop a wall breaker. Well, that wall breaker didn't go where I wanted it to go. I thought the wall breaker was actually gonna go into like the monolith area. Um, I'm gonna drop the first heal there. I'm going to freeze on entry. I'm going to drop the RC. Where's the RC not dropping? The RC was the RC didn't want to drop. It drops the headhunters now, and I want to pop the RC, the ground runners ability here in a second. Well, I pop. Well, we fizzled out quick we fell out so fast how many miners and hogs are dead how did it die well triple giant bomb i i didn't 
they didn't see that and well okay so this didn't go well it was probably a good plan but we executed it very poorly yeah we executed this plan so poor but such it, it set a good plan too we definitely waste a raid spell on our um blimp because the queen went inside so yeah this one fizzled out this one fizzled out very very bad we did pretty poorly on this attack not gonna lie we did pretty poor we're barely gonna scrape 60 percent yeah we definitely did poor very very poor on this attack only scraping 65 percent or so we get an ego, but that's not going to do anything. Yeah, this was a pretty poor top. Not going to lie. This was a very poor top. We're going to have to settle with 70% uh, or so. But yeah, this was pretty poor. We faced three jam bombs there. And I should have used the warden's ability earlier. Um, I was pretty slow on dropping stuff too. It was very, very slow on dropping stuff. We're going to 69%. 69% giddy. Giggity. Yeah, that was not a great top. That was... That was terrible. I, I can tell you that. That was pretty, pretty bad. Um, we had a very nice plan. We just executed it very poorly. But that happens. That happens. It was pretty slow in dropping stuff too. That, that's definitely um, a top that I did very, very poorly. But that's it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it for the end of our set. But we did some pretty good attacks. That one was definitely not one of them. But that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time.